Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to configure webhooks in Azure Build Pipeline. So what is the use case? Let's say you have configured your Azure Build Pipeline in order to uh, check out code from source code repository and then you are building uh, the war file or jar file and then finally you are deploying into Azure Cloud. But you want to trigger the build instantly after you make the code change. So how do you enable uh, or how do you configure webhooks in order to achieve that? That's exactly what we are going to learn in this short video. If you look at the prerequisites, I have already configured Azure Build Pipeline. And this is Azure Build Pipeline we have already configured. So this is actually checking out code from GitHub repository. So I have already configured it. So I have used a, a predefined template available from uh, Microsoft. Okay, so this is actually a plain vanilla web app. And uh, this is going to check out code and uh, build using Maven. And then is going to deploy the war file into Azure App Service. So this is my Azure App Service. Okay, so, so that, that is actually already up and running. And then this is my uh, GitHub repository. So this is my GitHub repository. I have already, uh, you know, set up everything. Okay. So basically, now we are going to see how to enable webhooks in Azure Build Pipeline. So how to do that? It is very simple, actually. So if you go to pipeline, if you go to trigger section, it's all. Enable continuous integration. So once you enable this, this is as good as, you know, configuring webhooks. So this is how, this is how you are going to configure webhooks in Azure DevOps. So the way to test this is, you know, just click on uh, save. Let's not queue it because when you queue it, it's going to kickstart the build. So I'm going to say enabling webhooks in ADO and save. So now we have enabled webhooks. So if I make a code change in my GitHub repository, it should go ahead and then kickstart the build instantly, right? So let's test that. So let me modify my repository here because this is what we are checking out in our pipeline. So if you if you edit this pipeline, if you see here, so we are we are checking out this repository, right? So which is nothing but it's over here. So let me edit this code. So let me make some code change here. So I'm going to say, uh, let's see. I'm going to say something, right? We are kickstarting build by making some code changes in All right, so I just want to um, so I want to make these code change. All right, so let me save this. Of course, uh, in a real time scenario, you are going to create a pull request, and then one of your team members may approve. But I'm not going to uh, you know show all that. This is just to show you guys how to enable webhooks. So let me add some uh, commit message here. Or I'm going to say testing books in ADO. Okay, commit change. So now I have committed my change in GitHub. So let me go to the pipeline. So click on pipelines. Wow, you see here? And we are also able to see the commit message here as well. So just click on the pipeline. I'm not, you know, click on build. I'm just clicking on the pipeline. And then look at that. It already kickstarted the build, isn't it? Look at that. It already put the request in the queue. And then the agent is currently in the process of coming up. Now the build has started. 
So let's wait until build completes and then we can quickly check the output. So while the build is running, I also wanted to show you one more option as well. So if you look at this diagram, so we are talking about web books, correct? So we can also do some kind of uh, scheduling as well. In Jenkins, you can also do poll ACM, right? So you can also do that in uh, Azure DevOps pipeline. So the way to do that is, let me edit the pipeline. So I know the build is running. We are not going to uh, interrupt that, but I just wanted to show you. If you go to the triggers, so if you want to uh, enable some kind of a scheduling, so what you can do, you can also click on add here, right? So you can also schedule, okay? You can also schedule bill based on your requirement. So this is like uh, you know, kind of a pull mechanism, right? In Jenkins, you have pull ACM. So you can also do like this in Azure pipeline. So obviously you're not going to have both, uh, you know, uh, web books as well as uh, scheduling enabled. But depending on the requirement, if you want to, you can also do either of these. All right. So let me delete uh, that one. Okay. So I'm going to go back, go back to the pipeline. So let's see what is going on. Oh, there you go. So pipeline already ran. Okay. So it took about uh, a minute and I believe for, uh, 14 seconds. All right. So this is awesome. So let's quickly check the output. Let me go to uh, my web app here, which is app service. So I'm going to click on the URL here. It might take few seconds. Wow, there you go. You see here? So we are able to see the output in uh, Azure app service. So there you go, guys. You know, that's how you can enable webbooks in Azure build pipeline. Thank you for watching this video.